Now we're going to go on to some of the other things that might need a little bit more de work to get them fit, but it's a very similar concept. So here we have the suspensory or the toe insert for, for if you're making a suspensory shoe, it can go front or behind. And again, they're in different sizes. I always like to mark the middle of my shoes so, or, so when my insert goes in, it's fitting in the middle. And luckily for us, they have a little notch there. So I like to line that up. So what I do is I put the shoe where I want it to fit, making sure that these lines where they bisect on either side are on the same place. Because if your shoes fit square, everything is looking nice and square on there. So I like to have a little bit of an air gap down on the front, right through here. That's just for the weld to go into. So mark on this one. Mark there. You can see the pieces I need to grind or cut off. Since it's on such an arc, these bandsaws with a wider blade, it's harder for me to cut into that arc. So I just grind it into that shape. Remember to leave the line. Here we have the toe insert, and I need to take just a little bit more off on these corners. Nice and straight. Make sure it fits in where I want it. Across there. And there. And now when I go to my welding table, I can put it in exactly the same spot and weld it in. I do a little tack first just to make sure that it's um, sitting in the right place because it's not pressure fit like the straight and the egg and the hard bar. So I'm happy with that.
And the reason why there was that gap in the toe is because when you weld this, it, it raises the bead as above, and you want to grind that flat so the horse's foot is, is flat with the shoe. Uneven bead will cause an unevenness, so I'm just going to do that. But that's what it looks like prior to grinding. up the inside and make sure there's no sole pressure, any even pressure. We're going to put what I call the collateral ligament uh, insert. And I think that's the correct name for it, I'm not sure. But um, this you can put on the medial or lateral collar side of the shoe, whatever side you that is diagnosed to have the problem. And uh, you can put it on the medial or the lateral side of the shoe for collateral ligaments. And the same thing, I'm going to put it in a position and then I trace it on the back side and grind or cut that out. So. I'm going to put on the lateral. So what I do is here's the heel check. I line the one point of it up with the heel check. That it fits nice and straight with that area. Grab my sharpie and mark it where it needs to be cut or ground. So there we can see what it looks like put my X so I know which side I marked it from so this I'm going to cut just a little bit off and then grind And the nice thing about welding with these welders, your fist doesn't have to be crispy tight in there because the welding will take up some of that gap. So we're lucky for that. So I'm just going to mark, make sure that's where it fits when I get to my welding table. process is the toe insert. I'm going to tack it, check it, and then finish welding. Nice and level with the ground. This one has so much welding space on this that I sometimes all I do is I weld this side and I tack the corners and maybe one in the center just so I don't have too much um, weld and adding so much extra weight to this the weld is a steel so you're just adding more and more weight
wrap her over, tack the corners good.